Hey guys, Mason here. So this morning I decided that it's finally stopped raining and I think I'm going to go try out that trail even though it's going to be super deep. At least the snow should be gone, but we'll see when we get there. Uh, I've done some of the old dirt bike gear because I know I'm going to be wet from the waist down. And uh, let's go see what this uh, brings. We'll see you in a bit. Hi guys. Okay, I'm back where I turned around the other day. The rain that we've had has really flooded this out. So with these tires on, I think I'm going to take a little bit of Tanker Man's advice and turn around. <laughs> Actually, the water's down a little bit, which is strange because we got so much snow overnight, but anyway, I'm gonna try this. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's a lot deeper than I thought it would be. Uh. Woo. Actually, that was considerably deeper than I thought it would be. Bit of a tree issue here. I think that might be there to stop people going down here. About three degrees out today, and this water being mostly snow melt is pretty cold on the feet. Uh, I think it's, uh, this is the season to spend some money on some waterproof boots, because that's borderline painful. But fun. Nice. I think that's about it. For the big water, anyway. The old OE 
OEM tires handled that fairly well. Luckily it's over a road and it's not super slimy. Mostly a gravel bottom in most of those water holes. That's a nice thing. Hmm. Okay, maybe we're not quite through it yet. Okay, that's deep. <laughs> All right, that's fun. Uh, if you got wet feet, you might as well have really wet feet. There we are at the end. Part of me wants to do that again in reverse. I think that's a great idea. That sure was a pile of fun though. Thanks for coming along guys. <sighs> okay, that's every time. Maybe that's why dirt bikes don't have side stands. <laughs> 